Hey there viewers, this is uh, Wicked Dilly's Let's Play Circus, and I'm Wicked, and I'm actually going to play uh, uh, this game, and this game is, uh, well, it's Wario Land 3. It came out in 2000, um, and I remember playing it uh, on my Game Boy Color during uh, summer holidays, and as far as I remember, I actually liked it a lot. But, um, well, I'm, I may be wrong, and it may actually be a, a really bad game. So to find out, I'm just going to go play it again. And uh, you'll, you'll have the liberty to watch. I'm actually emulating this because I wouldn't know how I would record uh, an actual, actual Game Boy Color. Um, but I am using a controller, so... I'm gonna, I didn't test it, so if it isn't working, uh, well, uh, that probably should have uh, tested it beforehand then. In any case, uh, I hope you enjoy. Also, I think we just crashed down in a forest. Or it'd be clouds, I mean, you know, in Mario, clouds and forests are usually the same thing, so... Um, I think I'm gonna stick with English, since my Japanese is um, non-existent. So yes, that's Wario, in case you didn't know, that's how he looked like uh, before the whole, uh, um, whatever that game's called, where he plays all those mini-games, I totally forgot the name. And that's a music box! And being Wario, he wants anything that's shiny. Too bad, the shiny thing actually ends up uh, having him. Also, don't you just love those sound effects? It's just, it's so nice for the ears. It's not causing any bleeding or anything. Oh yeah, uh, apologies for my horrible accent. I'm Dutch and stuff, so can't help it. So then this guy shows up. Well, I figure. I mean, who knows what it is? Are you aware, Wario? This world is in the music box. Oh, sorry, I already spoiled that. You were peering into... Oh, he didn't actually finish the sentence. My bad. I was the god that protected this world. But one day, a wicked being... Hey, a wicked being. Uh, it wasn't me. Sealed away my power and took control of this world. Wario... I want you to find the five music boxes needed to break the hidden seal and recover my powers. If you find them, I'll send you back to... Hmm, I wonder where he's gonna send me. Your own world. Of course, all the treasure you find is yours to keep. Ah, and that's obviously the only motivation Wario needs in order to play this game. Will you help me? Huh. No, I'm just gonna go leave now. Ah, oh, actually, he's gonna help. Um, in all seriousness, I actually like the uh, music of this game quite a lot. Um, it, it, after a few episodes, um, be sure to leave comments in uh, on what you think of the music. Uh, I mean, I may just be crazy, and actually, it may actually be very bad music. So yes, this is the temple, and if I uh, press the up button here, it tells me where my next mission is that um, I can play in order to progress. Uh, but I can also just go in the temple and have this fancy little cinematic where he tells me to go. And then yeah, I just can't skip that. And it's like, uh, oh, I actually have to walk out. Never mind. I can't skip that. So uh, let's get started with Out of the Woods. So yes, this is Wario, and uh, well, you can do all sorts of funny stuff. Uh, in the beginning, it's not actually that much. Like, I can do his uh, signature elbow thrust. Can't do any other things just now other than spamming jump. You'll find that there's actually no death in this game. Um, 
I can't die, I just get stunned and knocked back and lose control of my character. Which is, uh, a unique game mechanic. I mean, um, even though there's no death in this game, this game could get extremely difficult. Uh, like that. Like, that, that gets really annoying after a while. So, for now, on a quest to find the uh, music boxes, all I can do is walk right. I mean, it's just walking right and elbow thrusting. Oh, hey, Mr. Three. Why so, why so angry? Why so serious? Yay, coin. I totally forgot what the coins are for. Aha, a chest. Let's see. Well, obviously I need a key to get that chest. I remember that there was multiple... Um, chests in each level. And that, like, for instance, that is a green key. Uh, that only works with the green chest. The chest I found just now is the... Grey chest, which... Obviously needs a grey key. So, I'm just gonna go and... Uh, backtrack. See if I missed anything. Obviously, I missed this. Come on. The jumping and hitting... Oh, right, I need to go and do my elbow thrust first before I jump. There we go. Coins. Uh, I can't remember whether or not those coins actually did anything other than score. Oh god. Yes, I'm on fire. And then, uh, this happens. And this is also used in order to solve all sorts of puzzles. But mostly it's just very annoying because you can't stop running. That music is going to be, um, it's going to, uh, become very annoying later on because it's like you're trying to solve this difficult puzzle and then all of a sudden you're on fire again and you have to start all over because you just ran off the cliff. Not that you'd be dead, but you'd just be back at the start of the level. Good job, Wario. You did the first level. And we found an axe. And my axe. So yeah, it's not actually a music box that he found, but, uh, well, it's probably going to help him on his adventures. Um, so we get to see this little cutscene of what it did. And he chopped down this tree in one swing. It's pretty mighty warrior there, uh, Wario. And then we get to be uh, able to go to the uh, peaceful village and the vast plain. Oh, and it turned night. I forgot about that. Um, this game also has a day and night uh, cycle, as in that the levels actually change during the day and the night. Um, I'll show you. For example, uh, I just go in here and... Go away. Go away. I'm trying to tell the viewers something interesting about this game. Like that. Those are zombies and they turn me into a zombie and then... I... Apparently being a zombie gets cured when you're in the light. So that's obviously how zombies work. And then we go back to the map. And that's day again. Yeah, I remember. I, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, I remember doing that a lot <laughs> for uh, trying to find out um, if it needs to be day or night. Because if you look here now, it's different during the day. There's this guy with donuts that throws them. Uh, I forgot what that did, but I remember it being really annoying, like most of the things in this game. But yeah, I'm uh, gonna just uh, go back to the map and um, finish a little in-game tutorial thingy because it's obviously trying to tell me that I have to go here at night. Oh, that's what the umbrella is for. Nice. Okay, so there's a zombie here. I just don't want to really get hit by that. Um, and there's this pot over here. A doorway. 
And this robot thing. Let's see what's down here. A lot of this game is going to be just running around, seeing what's where. Okay, so there's a fat guy stuck over here. Didn't seem to be able to do anything with him just now. Nope. It's probably just going to be once I've found more items that can deal with it. There's items I've found I can't actually use in game, they just unlock new areas. So I can't get up there either, so that means that this house right now is completely pointless. Alright, the enemies are sleeping at night unless you get near. Nice. I forgot this game was pretty awesome. Oh crap. What was that? I think I need that guy. I need to jump on top of him to get up. No. Nope. On that day, screw you. I'm gonna go away. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, what's down there? Make me zombie. There's light. Oh, wait, I was here just a second ago. Herp, derp, derp, we're getting near. Dodging your head. Oh yeah, that guy sets me on fire. I need that. How I get. And I need that. How I get. Usually just I'm just gonna go and uh, assume that most of the time I'm just gonna need to uh, find the grey chest first. Until I've had all the levels. Actually this puzzle wasn't that hard. Sweet! Okay, so now what? I just want to go back up. Yay, coin! A music coin! To Mordor! And it's another level on. Don't worry, it got more interesting than this, obviously. A piece of something. And then stay again. Oh, I don't think the piece actually did something on its own. See, it's telling me to go to the fast planes, obviously, because I hadn't been there. And yes, um, oh god, um, that I needed to go um, to the other level at night because the zombies would be there, and without the zombies I would not have gotten the key. So that's how this game is starting to uh, show its uh, true colors. Let's see what's down this pipe, because no Mario based game is going to be complete without pipes. Can't go in there though. In that case, all your coins are belong to us. Me, Mario. I don't know. I don't quite remember what it does. I just don't want it on my head. I think it makes me, like, not... Oh, right, I remember what it does. Wait, I thought I had needed that. Oh, never mind. But yes, now I'm invisible. And you might think, well, that's not so bad. Other than the fact that you can't actually see where you're walking other than the little dust particles. And the sounds. I'm not quite sure what undid the invisibility. Like this, I didn't actually want to go down there. Oh right, going through a tube apparently makes me go visible. And why did I do that? Silly Wario, you can't swim. To Mordor! Screw you! Oh yes, this is like how the game kind of works. Um, the uh, eye, uh, you need to get hit by this bad thing, the invisibility to get past the eye. Uh, sometimes you need to get set on fire to, God damn it, uh, to get set on fire to burn through certain blocks. And 
the game ramps up quite a bit like that. Okay, so I found the chest, but now the key. Oh, well, that wasn't hard. Oh, I see. I need to be visible in order to uh, enter that. Why not take the coin while I'm at it? Let's see what's down here. A five ton block and some spikies. Obviously, there's something up there on the left. I saw this little platform. But not for now. For now, we're just gonna go and uh, get the treasure. That's what I said. So, so far we've been. Uh, ooh. Never mind, cutscene. Okay, so the door turned angry and then turned into trees. And the next, well, I, level part, well, I wouldn't call it a level, uh, let's say, uh, section. And it's night again. Let's see what it tells me to go. Obviously, to the next area. Desert Ruins. Um, my memory tells me that the Desert Ruins actually had a uh, important uh, day-night thing going on. Turner. I don't remember this music. My instincts tell me to go left. And the night thing is open. And usually, uh, I remember in this game, whenever I go up into a tunnel or something, I end up going to the chest first and then not having the key, so having to go back all the way um, to get the key and then come back again. Oh god. Yes, so uh, that happened. I just got cut in half. Uh, I was gonna say something before the cutscene, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's the red chest. What the hell? Yes, thank you. Just uh, turn me into a, a ball of string. Again, loving the music. Mario Land 3. More like backtracking Land 3. Go away! Oh yeah, it took me fast. Which... How do you get rid of that again? Can I go through here? No, you can't. So... You just gotta work... Yeah, you just gotta work out a little. Mario, just work out a bit more. Oh, that's the red key. So basically, uh, what I just said about having to do the grey chest first... Uh, disregard that, I'm an idiot. I still don't remember what I was going to say when the cutscene happened. Excuse me, I have ADD. I have a license to forget. Please don't cut me in half. Miss me. How do you jump off? I don't know how I did it, but I jumped off. More treasure! And that's a piece of something. Something tells me the other piece I can find in the grey chest. Probably the game subtly telling me that uh, there's multiple chests in each level and you need to try a level in multiple ways. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I can't really remember what I was going to say. I, I thought it was important, but eh, apparently not. So, uh, 
I'm just gonna end the video here, uh, because, uh, well, upload limits and stuff. Um, let me know if you like this game, let me know if you think it's shit, uh, if, you sh if I should continue or not, uh, or just let me know anything. Uh. Either way, have a nice day or evening, uh, morning, whichever time period you're watching this, and uh, I'll see you next time. This is Wicked, and I say goodbye.